So we have studied that bio draw tools are very important for biological applications. We want to finish it up viewing a couple of biological tools again. So let's head over to view. Okay, just head over to view and if you don't have your bio draw toolbar just select it and this one will pop up okay so from your bio draw toolbar we have looked at many of them but we want to look at the most important one that people usually need which is dna so to create a dna you just have to select it and head over and draw it so there you go and with dna so let's zoom this in a little bit okay so with dna you can also make adjustments as we did the helix as we did with the helix protein you can do height adjustment so you can bring it here and change the height you can also do spacing adjustment so you can bring it here let me get it and change the spacing you can also do width adjustment so you can also bring it here and change the width adjustment or change the width you can also do offset adjustment so you can come back to this side and do offset adjustment so that is something important to note using dna and you can always also color your dna as with other objects so you can select this and from the color menu you can go to any color that you need as well you can also go to curves and you can change so this is faded you can let's say change to shadow and it changes curves you can change to field and it changes so that is something to also note you can always do that as well and from the dna toolbar so you can tear this down you can also draw trna as well and you can also draw mrnas as well so that is very important to note The next one is plasmid map. Many people also need plasmid map. So you can come to your bio draw and you see plasmid map. So you can select it and come over and draw your plasmid map. So once you have your plasmid map, you can right click and go to regions and you can set your region. So let's say we have one to let's make it a thousand and do add and you have this and you have the region set you can let's say do 1200 to maybe 2000 and go to add you can also do let's say 2200 to 3000 and go to add and if for some reason you don't need it you can just select and go to delete as well and hit ok and you have this so let me erase a little bit okay all right control z okay let's let's close this and rather choose this and hit delete choose this hit delete um, drag this aside and hit delete and now let's drag this to the middle and there you go so you have your plasmid map over here so that is how to add regions to your plasmid map you can also add markers so you can right click again and go to markers and you can add markers to whichever position that you need so let's say we want to add it to the same spot so that was the marker but we've just added it to the same spot so you can go in and maybe delete markers 
if you don't need them you can also delete that so that is basically about markers um, you can also resize the markers move it around and make it interesting so that is basically all for bio draw make sure to play around with it note that when you go to template you can do a whole lot of things with it and you can design your project or your document in ChemDraw. you don't need another platform or to import stuff but you can do everything in here thank you and see you in the next section